whew, living in the forest is sometimes difficult because uh, it's going to, it's going up a lot of times, a lot of mountains to climb, a lot of hills, but it's all worth it. It's all worth it to be, because I used to live in the city, and everything that happened to me was over there. But I was so drawn to the forest, and soon I came to live with the forest now, and I have, I love it so much. The things that happened to me here, I mean, no one would, would even believe me. But I became a, a, a little bit like the witch of the forest here. Even the people here already know me because of the, I walk around with a dragon mask here <laughs> and doing my rituals. Sometimes people see it. And so, yeah, uh, I love it so much. And here I listen to my own self. I listen to the dragons. I listen to the birds. I listen to the animals. I just don't want to listen anymore to humans. The, the sound that they make is so... Ugh. I was so sick and tired of their sound and even to this day, every every time in, in the week I still have to listen to it and just during the weekends I'm just in the forest. So my brothers and sisters, that is, uh, I, did, I made a promise to my dragon and a promise that I will never uh, reject and that is to talk about them, to talk about dragons and uh, hoping that I will trigger a lot of you so that you will also find your dragon. It's a way actually to help the dragons. Uh, and then, of course, I was not, you know, the dragon's path, you have to be not specific because every, every path is different, but you can be very, I mean, you can explain something about this. And last time I had a comment about Leviathan. Leviathan is not described like this in the Bible, someone said. And I said, the Bible. What do I care what stands in the Bible or any kind of human book? I don't read human book. Nothing on my dragon's path is based on a book. And dragons don't, they don't write books. You know, that is what humans do. The Bible is made by humans. The Quran is made by humans. And I don't care what stands in the, those books because it's all lies anyway. And I don't even, even mind if they are lies or not, because it's a human story. It's not my path. It's not anything that I even care about. So I don't care about the Bible, and that is what I want everyone to know. I don't care about the Bible, I don't care about Jesus or Mohammed. I don't care about any of them, because those are humans. Humans that actually, they use it so that we can walk in line so that we listen to them because Jesus said I don't care what your Jesus said and I will never stand in line because I follow the dragon I always will follow the dragon I am free to do whatever I want and whatever my desires are and that is what dragons as well are they will always be free and I will see true humanity I will see through culture. I will see through anything or any habit that any human will have. Because I am free. Once I was awakened, I was free from humanity. I saw all of their ways. I saw all of their manipulation. All of their ways of culture. And I didn't agree with being a part of that. And it, it even became worse once I said I don't even want to eat from that slaughterhouse anymore. And I will always go against hunters. Because it's not fair to claim this world for you. Alone for you. Once dragons would return, would you claim this world also for you alone? I don't accept that. <sighs> so this forest, for example, I would love that dragons would return. But humanity will never accept something like this. That is why I say to you, my brother and sister, I, uh, once you are awakened by the dragon, you have to remember, dragons are free. They don't, are, they cannot be manipulated. They cannot be anything like it. Those are not dragons. And if you say to me, the Bible says that, that this or that, then you don't understand the dragon's path because I do not read books, even though I'm a witch. I can do magic and I, explain, I can explain to you about the dragon's path, but I don't read books and especially not books that wants you to step in line because dragons are very bad in stepping in line. 
they are actually very much free spirits always going to be free spirits and that is what you need to understand from the dragon's path my brothers and sisters that you will always see through and look through of what humans be, uh, d desire from you if they desire from you to step in line well actually that is something that dragons cannot do and that is why i'm, a, I'm a so afraid because it, uh, animals i mean animals beings like dragons for example humans will never like that of course there are fantasies on, from riding on their backs well actually dragons don't do that dragons actually are free beings that they are, will not themselves be treated like a slave or a horse or a pet then you might not understand the dragon's path because that is exactly how you feel because you have a spirit of a dragon with you and the spirit of this dragon will always be free remember that right and that is why i came to live in the forest to be free i wanted to feel like a forest dragon i wanted to feel like my spirit says my spirit says to be much more inside of the forest and the green and nature and i i needed to to listen to the dragon i have to listen to my own self and to listen to the dragon i have to forget about humanity so again if you say to me but the bible says this or the quran says this you <laughs> dragons don't write books dragons just live just to have their stories, their way of survival, their way of doing it, their wisdom, their knowledge. It's something that they say directly to you. You don't need books for that. And especially not books for humans. So teachings, teachings of humans. You don't need that. You don't need any of that. You just need to listen to the dragon and to your own self and to the dragon gods. Whatever they are saying, I don't know. That is for you to discover. For you to say it you to discover because inside of books there are well established rules well the dragons do not have these rules they have guidelines and for everyone the guidelines are different dragons are always going to be free and so are you if you want to if you wonder yourself for example uh, how do dragons react well refer to yourself would you love it when someone rides your back would, would, you, would you love it, for example, if, if someone puts you in a cage or in a zoo or maybe in a slaughterhouse? I don't think so. That is not what dragons are. Dragons live wild and free, one with nature. And that is what I wanted to do as well. And I did my, my best. I did a promise to talk about them, but not to say to you what the rules are. There are some kind of rules that you can say, like don't treat them as pets. Don't treat them as a slave. Don't treat them like a second class, but treat them like an equal to you. Treat them like you love them. That is the only thing that you need to know about the dragon's path. And from there on, it's up to discovery, discovery, discovery. That is also what I did. And from all of these discoveries, I came even to realize that even magic was involved. I didn't even believe it, but not Hollywood magic, but real magic, nature magic, the four elemental magic, things like this, that dragons are one with nature and one with the energies. I have to say to this person that he, will, he doesn't understand the dragon's path. If you say that I have to refer from a book that I have to take serious. I mean, like I said, don't care about Jesus. Don't care about Muhammad. Don't care about any of these states, saints. I don't care about humans. I don't care about how they try to control the crowd. But they will never control the dragon. 